Well, there was a time when the US and Russia were allies, like in the Second World War, but they don't feel like allies right now. This is the headline in today's Kamsa Moscow Pravda. Russia and America, the main thing is that we don't start fighting. The paper says that after Donald Trump was elected US president, many people forecast the start of a golden age in American-Russian uh, cooperation. But less than half a year later, those people who were Trumpophiles are now disillusioned in the man in the White House. He, either independently or under pressure of the Washington elite, has practically continued the line of his predecessors in relation to our country, in other words, to Russia. And the paper quotes an expert in international security from Moscow University as saying, our eternal rival is the American state itself, and we have incompatible strategic interests. He also says that the danger of a conflict between our two countries, in other words, the US and Russia, is much higher now than it was in the Cold war. And the paper prints this interesting diagram charting the ups and downs of US-Russian relations over the last 250 years. So the ups include here in 1824 the uh, Russo-American Treaty, uh, what else, the fact that the two countries were allies in the First and Second World Wars. Uh, the downs, well they include uh, the start of the Cold War in 46, the Cuban Missile Crisis 1962, uh, the NATO bombing of Yugoslavia in 1999, here 2014, the Ukrainian uh, revolution, sanctions against Russia after the Crimean referendum. I think if this diagram was being uh, printed in a Western paper, it would say here um, Russia's annexation of Crimea and Russia's military intervention in eastern Ukraine. Moving on to uh, Moskovsky Kamsomolets, uh, which quotes the Russian Defence Minister, Sergei Shoigu, as saying that the US-led coalition in Syria has been encouraging terrorists. But for a word of optimism, let's go to Henry Kissinger, the former US Secretary of State. He's been in Moscow this week, he met Putin. Uh, he said this, that problems between our countries uh, must be solved responsibly. We have all possibilities to do this, to achieve progress, not only in bilateral relations, Kissinger said, but in the interests of the whole world. But for that, we need joint efforts, because the consequences of disagreeing could be catastrophic.